Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 39. Uh, minimum deletion to make strength balance. So this one is a little bit tricky to understand. Uh, I mean, the understanding is not that hard. Uh, and I actually hmm, can clean up the code a little bit. But And this code is really short. It's one of those things that kind of trick you into under thinking that is easy. It's actually a little bit trickier than that. The the key thing to note is so um so for this problem, the first thing to notice is that n is equal to ten to the fifth. So you cannot do anything before I mean you can't do anything n square at least. You can maybe do n log uh, you can definitely do n log n, but that's not gonna um my my solution is gonna be linear time O of n. So basically you have some string here, right? And and we the idea is that we split, we brute force in a way, in a clever way, just every possibility of splitting the string. And what I what do I mean by splitting the string? I mean splitting the string such that everything to that left of the split are going to be A's, and then everything to the right is going to be B's. So that's basically what I do. I have this. I start from all the way to the left, and then all the one to the right, one to the right, and one to the right, and so forth. Right. So from that. The thing to kind of keep track of are the invariants, right? So the thing to notice is that as you kind of move this pointer from left to right, and I'm going to just be a little bit exhaustive here, is that, hmm, is that, okay, as you go from left to right, well, if 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 the character that you're changing, if, it, if it's an A, then there's one fewer A's to the right, and nothing changes to the left because you, it's, you want an A anyway. If if the character you shift is a B in this case, well, that means that there's one more B to the left and one less B to the right, right? So that's kind of obvious. So you can actually keep track of it. If you want to write this more naively, uh, and I probably should have during the contest because I was thinking too much. Uh, so what you can do is actually keep track of th four things, which is A left, uh, B left, which is zero zero, and then A right, B right, which is, well, you know, we have just this collection thing. So let's just say total sub A, total sub B, right? And my code is going to be exactly the same, and and then now you we just do the minimum by first we look at look at it from scratch, um, or actually, so the, at the beginning. What is the worst answer, right? It's actually just the number of a's in, in on the right side. So this is going to be a sub right. And then now we every string we parse. Uh, well, we we take a look at the best, and then we it is basically the number of b's on the left side plus the number of a's on the right side, right? So it'll be something like this, right? And then if x is equal to a, we do what we said, right? Which is that a to the right we subtract one, and then we move it to the left side. We don't use this, so that's why I took it out. And if if it's a B, then we again do the same thing. We just move B from left to or from right to left, right? And then at the very end, we just wanted to make sure that we we keep track of of the last possibility, which is um, oops, which is this, right? So now we just keep track of min of best one more time, just to make sure after we process the entire string. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I wrote it during the contest in this way so that it's... Um, I wrote it in the contest in this way because I was able to kind of skip some steps and visualize it. But to be honest, it took me long t uh, longer time because I had to make sure that I was right. And and it was kind of a little bit, you know, you don't have that symmetry of code. Though this is, you know, shorter code and prettier. Uh, I think this code is actually... Oh, well, we have to return best. But... This code is uh, easier to read in terms of understanding how uh, how to understand this problem. Uh, let me know how, how what you think. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, all that stuff. And you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Hmm.
That's where we Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know if you have any more questions about this problem or another problem. Uh, I will see y'all next problem. Bye-bye.